Hello and welcome to this Lockdown Facebook Live. I'm Aaron from Classroom Secrets and I'm going to show you a practical activity you can do with fractions. Now, when I heard the word fractions at school, it sent a shiver down my spine. So hopefully this goes some way to showing you and giving you some ideas uh, to do with fractions at home. So you can do this with anything. Oh, and by the way, last time I put the screen landscape, not going to do that today. Um, you need anything such as sweets, you could use different types of paper, different coloured paper, different uh, types of crisps, anything you can use to show a fraction. So I've just got some sweets here and what I want to do is separate them out into what fraction is being shown by the colours. So here we have four red, so that's going to be my top number, that's my numerator and on my bottom number, that's the denominator. So I need to know how many there are all together. That's the whole. So there will be four twelfths, because there are 12 sweets all together. 12 objects all together. I'm looking at four of them, four reds. You do the same for the yellow. So we have three twelfths there. Handwriting is not the best. Green, we have two twelfths all out of 12 because there's only 12 sweets it never changes the whole stays the same orange we have two twelfths and for purple just a lonely one one out of 12 one twelfth so once you've got that information you can do a whole lot of activities around that data you've got so for instance you could simplify your fractions, especially useful for older children, maybe year five, year six. So for instance, in red, we have four twelfths of my sweets are red. So you could simplify that. So that's making it its simplest form. And both of these numbers are divisible by four. So four twelfths is one third. So four twelfths simplifies into one third. You could repeat that for the whole of your set. Also, <clears throat> also, you could add some of the fractions. So, for instance, we've got red and yellow. Um, lower key stage two, so year three and year four, they would be adding fractions. So we'd have four twelfths, add three twelfths. So this is year three and year four. And when you're adding fractions, so this is red and this is yellow. When you're adding fractions, the denominator stays the same. So remember, our denominator is the bottom number. That's the whole. It stays the same. It'll only be the numerator, our parts, the top number that gets added and changes. So 4 at 3 is 7. And my whole stays the same. So my red and yellow sweets all together are 7 twelfths of the set of the whole. Again, you could try and simplify that if you're an older child, maybe working in years five and six or even beyond that. Um, another little game you could play just to extend that is you could use some playing cards. So let me use this pen here. And if I know I've got 12 sweets, let's move them up actually. Let's make our workspace better. So we've got my fraction line there, and we've got our 12 sweets there. So I've got some playing cards, and I'm going to flip those over to create a fraction. So we have a three as our numerator, and we have a four, so three quarters of four hours, a denominator. Three quarters of our 12 sweets equals, and then you'd put your answer in. Remember, divide by the bottom, times by the top. Once you've done that one, you can take away one of the cards. So let's take away our numerator and you can change it for another one. Here we have two quarters of our 12 sweets. And put your answer in. Again, divide by the bottom times by the top to find that fraction of the amount. And then again, you can simplify that because equivalent fractions coming into lower key stage two they should know two quarters is the same or equivalent to a half. So it's half of 12. So they should know the answer is six. Again, you can change the denominator, change the numerator. It doesn't matter which one. But hopefully there's some ideas you could use 
for you today, for you in the future, working from home with your child. And we're back. So hopefully that's given you some ideas. Hope you found it useful. Please do share in the community uh, group down there. Post a comment how you found it today, how you've got on. And any other ideas, please do share. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.